Hello, my yogi friends. Welcome back. It's Julianne again here with our final part of the journey into power sequence, deep rest while you are pregnant. So I know that we've gone through the entire series already of the journey into power, showing you all different ways of modifying, intensifying, tweaking and playing around uh, while you're going through first, second, and third trimester of your pregnancy. Deep rest, one of my favorite sections, um, especially while pregnant. This is where props can be really helpful. Um, I know as you do it, especially with the twist, this is where you kinda need to have a block. Um, I would suggest definitely having two blocks, if not more. And for me personally, again, you do not have to have all this stuff, uh, but for me, since I do yoga every single day, I just slowly grew my prop management for um, all the different classes. Uh, a bolster can be really helpful for deep breaths while you are pregnant. So let's just play around and show you some different things that you can do while in deep rest. So for deep rest, you have a supine twist, you have Supta Baddha Konasana, and then you have Savasana. So with the supine twist, because it's a twist, it's not something that you want to engage in uh, once you're in second trimester. First trimester, good to go. Second trimester is when you want to pull back on any of your twists. And then uh, third trimester is just, <laughs> let's just see how you feel each and every moment. <laughs> okay, so let's just play around with deep breaths. Let's say you only have blocks accessible to you. This is when you're going to want to have definitely one block between your legs. And I personally also like to have one block underneath my neck. So when you're doing the supine twist, you're not going to be doing the twist per se. You will keep yourself um, like you're about to do the twist, but you can keep yourself forward like this. This will basically be your supine twist. Sometimes what I like to do is I just like to open up my shoulder and go, go to the back just to gain some access here. But if you remember, we want to make sure that hips stay facing forward. So if you start to twist, it just feels, especially in third trimester, feels super uncomfortable. So you could stay right here. If you have a bolster, this is a great opportunity to have it under between your legs right here too. That to me feels really good. If you have a towel, putting a hand towel right underneath your belly for support right there is also really uh, yummy and feels good. So for me, especially while I'm pregnant and doing any restorative practices too, all the props, I love all the props, just helps me gain access and to be truly comfortable and grounded into my mat. So you can stay right here, and then when they call for the other side, you just switch sides over. Supta Baddha Konasana. Again here, the further along you get into your pregnancy, the hard, the touchier it may be to be on your back. So I know I played around with this in igniting, where if you have two blocks, it can be really, it can feel really good and comforting. Where if you have your two blocks, you have a little bit of space for your uh, sacral area, your tailbone area, and you can just kind of tuck it right under and you can play around to see what's comfortable for you, where your hips are still supported, but there's no pressure on your sacral area. And for me, it feels so lovely and opening and relaxing. If this is just a no-go for you, you may stay seated. After you do the supine twist, you could stay seated. You could come up and go into a butterfly position like this. 
or if a bolster is accessible to you, this is how I'll show you how to set that up. My personal favorite way of doing it is to have three blocks. Two is doable, but three seems to be like, just like right there. What I like to do is to have one block um, flat on its back. Then I have two blocks on the taller position, just like this. So then when you lay your bolster down, it's at this really lovely angle that you're still getting supported. You're still laying down, you're supported, but you're also not just sitting straight up. So for here, kind of looks like that. And then I just kind of wiggle myself up into here. Another great use for your hand towel is to tuck it right underneath, um, right where the edge of your bolster is. I mean, I'm really tall, so I always need that little bit of extra uh, support. Um, but this can be a soup to bata kanasana for you too. Now when they call savasana, sometimes this feels way better than savasana does. If you have a bolster and you have the blocks, you can stay right here, or you could extend long and go into Savasana. It's really what feels good for you. If a bolster is just not a part of your yoga equipment, again, completely fine, and this is where you can play around with it. If you're doing a home practice, you could always use a couch cushion, could roll up some blankets. Um, your studio may have access to some. If not, and Savasana, um, again, after first trimester, second trimester really depends on how you feel. Third trimester is basically just no longer doable. If you at least have two blocks, what you can do, instead of doing savasana on your back, you go right into basically what you did for supine twist. You have the block under between your knees, have your head rested on your block. If you only have one block, you could just hold up, bend your arms, and tuck your hands underneath your head. If you're doing the home practice, use what you have around you. Couch cushions, pillows, blankets, whatever is going to help support you right now to fully deep rest. This is also a great time to just rest your hand on your belly and see if there's any kicks going on. We're just giving yourself some more connection with your little one. After Savasana, they, the teacher will usually call you to your right side body and for you to press your forehead onto your mat. You could stay right here where you were. If you want to press your forehead onto your mat, you could go ahead and do so. Then you just use your arms to press yourself up into an easy sit. And when you finish your practice with the three ohms, for our studio, we reach our hands up overhead, we bring our hands to heart center. For me here, this is one of those really special moments where I like to wrap my hands around my belly and especially with the ohms, I mean really belt your ohms. I've noticed a very big difference within each of my kiddos. They're very used to the ohms, um, especially when you do it in utero, when they're in utero and you do it a lot. When they are eventually earth side, doing the ohms can actually be a calming thing for them. Uh, that's been really neat to see my older kiddos when they would be freaking out and cry, crying, I could ohm really loud and they would just basically calm down in my arms and I could try to figure out other means of what was going on with them. So this is really lovely to wrap your hands around your belly. 
Again, you may stay right here, but for me, always taking that opportunity just to have one more little connection before you go on to your day. Um, um, Thumb knuckles to forehead center, can stay right here, or you may bow forward in namaste. And there you have it, the last part of the JIP sequence. So when you combine all of these sequences together to create the entire journey into power flow, you can take nippets, little tidbits from each section and put them into your practice. Um, and then the more you practice, the more you learn and you just remember, oh, I want to do it this way. It's all about playing, connecting and flowing on your mat to just breathe and move. And you are doing an amazing job because you just finished the journey into power sequence and you are rocking it and you are creating a human being from scratch. So way to be a badass. All right, thank you for joining me through all of the different parts of the journey into power. If you have any other questions or you want some more or some more knowledge about maternity yoga, uh, please reach out to Evolution Power Yoga and I'd be happy to create some more videos for you. Uh, any other questions that you may have. It's always a learning process. Really excited to bring this baby Earthside and then we can play some more with that. So get onto your mat, breathe, and know that you are doing everything that you need to do right here, right now. So thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day.